Saxby. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Um, and can I ask my right honourable friend, as he looks to review the licensing arrangements for Devon and Cornwall Police, that it accurately reflects the vast rural area that this force actually covers? We've already heard that it does have a high level of gun ownership linked to those remote farms that do require them for work. But um, there is a concern that actually there's already a backlog in the renewal system and that the rurality is not adequately reflected in the resources that the force receives. Minister. Okay, well, I thank my honourable friend for her um, question. Um, obviously, Devon and Cornwall is a large um, geographic um, area. I understand that there are now more resources being deployed by Devon and Cornwall Police into firearms licensing, uh, partly following this awful incident, but partly because there are quite large backlogs in Devon and Cornwall specifically um, for firearms licensing. So there are more resources being deployed um, for this purpose. Um, but I would say, notwithstanding the rurality of Devon and Cornwall, or indeed many other parts of the country, um, we can't obviously have different or lower standards. I know that wasn't what the Honourable Lady um, was suggesting. We do need to make sure the standards are high everywhere across the country. Uh, in relation to the resource question more generally, um, there is an intention to consult shortly on the police funding formula, uh, and one of the inputs into that will be rurality to make sure that uh, adequate resources are given to more rural forces to reflect the additional costs that they very often face.